Hello everybody, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to restore your Apple TV. Recently Apple issued an update that uh, I have two Apple TVs in my house. When I installed Apple the new update on one of them, it was rendered completely useless. It's been sitting uh, on my entertainment center with this light flashing non-stop. Um, there's lots of videos online that help show you how to restore it assuming that you have access to the screen but if you can't if all your your Apple TV is doing is showing the Apple logo or the little spinning icon or just blinking you can't get into the menu you can't do anything about it so what you have to do is kind of annoying but you need to take the Apple TV unplug it from your TV you have to have a micro USB cable to plug into the back of your Apple TV and then you need your power cord. Um, and some some Apple TVs are, are a little bit different, so you kind of have to play around a little bit with this. But um, you need, like I said, you need the micro USB cable, plug it into your computer. And this is assuming that you're using a Mac. Um, and then plug your, uh, your power cord into the wall. Plug the micro USB cable into the back of the Apple TV before you plug in the power cord. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it here for a second and see if we can get the iTunes to not recognize it. Okay, so uh, as you can see, my Apple TV, or sorry, my iTunes is not recognizing my Apple TV, but uh, right now I've got my micro USB plugged in to the back of my Apple TV and to the back of the computer. If I plug in the power cord now to the Apple TV, it should bring up a window that allows you to restore. If this window doesn't automatically pop up, you may in the upper left hand corner here or in the upper right hand corner depending on how your iTunes is set up, have an option that that would you'd be able to select, you know, if you have multiple things plugged in, you'd be able to to select down to the Apple TV. If you want to click on restore Apple TV, it's asking are you sure you want to do it? It's going to restore it to factory state. At this point, you have no other option, so go ahead and click on Restore and Update. Click Next. And it should take a few minutes to run the firmware uh, update here. I imagine once it's all done, it should give us some kind of a message telling you that it's done. Here in the upper right hand corner, as you can see, it's downloading the file. We're just going to wait a moment here so you know what to look for when the uh, download is complete. As we can see, it's finalizing the update here. So now that it's downloaded the file, it's waiting for the Apple TV to respond to take the update. I'm hoping that I don't run into an issue. Perfect. It did restore. Now I haven't done a jailbreak on my Apple TV. In some cases, if you've done a jailbreak on your Apple TV and you run into this problem, you may not be able to do this update. The update might not work. And apparently it does take quite a quite a long time here. I have paused the recording several times here, and uh, it appears as though it's about a 10 minute download. And that's, I mean, I have a really fast internet speed. I have 100 megabits uh, download speed. So yours might be a little bit different as far as the download, but once you have the file downloaded, it should install pretty quickly. I think the install took two or three minutes. Hang in there, we're almost there.
Fantastic. And this is the uh, message you get when your Apple TV is completely restored. Obviously, at this point, you need to plug back, the, uh, plug it back into your TV and um, have to reset everything. You have to set up your iTunes again and your Netflix and your Hulu and all that fun crap. So, anyway, I hope you uh, like the video. Please feel free to uh, subscribe, comment, like, anything you'd like. If there's any questions you have that I haven't answered, please feel free to ask. Thanks.